Nigeria for Emran Teno Mugu Ghana Kum Hanohu. Mo Ghana for Mano, a moon boomo. I've seen majority of them a moon boomo. They feel like you love money, mo Prisica, until they will use you for rituals. Majority of them in Ghana are the only one. A moon for Mukum Honomona, on better Kum Hanoma, you won't be the Anono, and only Omey is Kedrona. I'm currently in Angola, and we we find a fifty thousand naira credit bag and we are saying, "I'm going to move to your home, but yeah, ewa ha." Then they get a lot of money, more money in that home. Now, abaya we in our Angola, so yes, we smart. Thank you, sir. Anka, whatever could have happened, would have happened to her. Let it be, ewa akra. We share Nigerian guy be online. On the guy in chatty. A quick or exchange number. Eh, inti, I wanna guy no one day or catch any so. I feel no abba, Ghana, how about hand chain? Inti, the sanity there, eh, and cut lady near the end sending the bibica cra. No fan for the one fan got the same card. Inti, me cry me who some card crown because they were already communicating. Inti, lady in the sending the bibid man. Or why I said to me, friend, so, no, dear, any answer. Don't be man again. I the happy bigger crowd they are sending on notes. They were not dating, no one said anything. So, lady, one day catch a guy and say, Oh, you are my friend, and sometimes you want me to visit you, but then come to me at my place. Number seven, I'm found chairman, my mom say, Madame Fini, so that next time if I'm no home, they will not say, Oh, my Madame Fini, home. Who guy you saw a casua or come here again? Any day, Enfana, Nano, Enfama, Nano, Infinity, Enfama, no. Okay, to when I that who guy na catchin so, I will feel into either umbra. Na again say, I don't know you. Besides, you are Nigerian. Ena minu mubu sheni biya. So if you want to see me, then let's meet at an open place and talk. Get to know ourselves. Guy na say they be that. Or for second and again na say me nko. No, to na be. To one day, I no tears here. Na again na say okay. So I dey in share open place. I will close from work in the evening. So I will meet you at Labadi what beach. And I buy a year, a set of two the car, and I'll call a body. A quarter on a guy, no, so you're there. Eba, or by a catcher, so no one ever. I feel all what my I see. So in a young corner, you got to make a move. And also, there be young to hang in the combo. Guy, so no, 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 don't sit here, let's go. Na guy, it's a main call. I feel not guy, and I don't for back home, you know, no, my ba. Oh, let. Not then, I'm person who will call. My young call, never got to come. Guy, it's a main call. Not for fraba, not for. Bebre no mapa. And again, I say, still main call. I say, oh, and I will be saying, neither now, yes, we just want to go and have fun somewhere. And I say, no, I can't go. If we can't sit here and talk, I am not following you. I'm not going to get into that car. So, let me sit here. If you can't sit, then I'm going home. I'm renting a frustrated girl. And again, here, I saw you. I saw you now, I'm editing a cheat. And I'm not getting home. Military guys, too. Be on the car home. And on all rushes, say, or call, or papa complain, say, go for video, and I call, or could do home at Cassam Nature, not only military free bar, or by a phony night, if you were, Nigeria phony now, or be a year if you home. Sankayan, I've been a year, Juma. I know why, ya, okay. On the car, no, the coin, these guys were saying, say, on packing the car, and if you saw on on fat or modern, no one can call drop in with fee who in your sunny bay. And I walk home my assassin with Puno. And true, be being fancy, I said, No, something is wrong somewhere. Men pack me can't fancy one. I'm in for me, and I'm for me with Sifi. Let me jam a can over. Not so be a year, and I'm on the trouble of Yamaka. Let me edit it. So, this is to say, say, they really, to to the they really wanted to do something evil to the girl. No doubt about that. Okoya, Uncle Abia, Mumban Concoction, be a man. Sa video bina ba ena, omede pot yesu ena kujai boom na again ofi ofi na omosre no. That the same thing omede ba ena. Two, ida sa omu ni nara ebe gangi no ma ena omedi omu ya omu finishi no. Because omu jana abai ebe chi omedi omu ena omu finishi no. It was good that oye ni yanseni. Ifu say no, what is happening no enye real so menko. Let's put it aside say onu wafaka anko. Me catch them. Say, I dear boy, I want to car now. What do you do? What do you call it? Say, I want to car now. Car. 
Anka e bia wa dwen enko bibi so. Wo ba so ya kodi mo tina wo no makɔ. Because it is not logic say me de me ka akɔ na me gye nsi wo na me fa wo ka na yenkɔ. It is not logic. Ani e ba me fa me de mfa ndi wa chi mu ni nyina nka yenkɔ. But me gye nsi wo de e wo so hu say something is wrong somewhere. E ko ya ne e ma ya bia. Ne bia wo nkuta ka ana wa wo fa wo uba ana wo kokwa tena ho ne ba ne sia. Anka you would have gone to sit in the car. Whatever will happen would happen to you. And then my ano, see ano, me who who to me here in Nigeria for a story be a no be a guy that woman be a bachelor oh but some are not like that. We see so never some some a day before we ask no a day before we ask no be who a day before we ask no be who if you travel. All over, you see videos. I yeah, ask it. So Ghana men and Nigerian men, which one do you prefer? They will be saying Ghana men, Ghana men, Ghana men, Ghana men. But you, what you gonna have? Open Nigerian man. Nigerian man open. All those outside in Kampu, they know how dangerous these Nigerian guys are. I'm not saying say they are all evil, but even if I say they are all evil, they are. Nobody can see anything. I'm in my country. If they like, they should go back to your country. No mu just awon kwasi ade na o mu di e wo o manu mu na ye ma no o mo se ye ma no wonu gana fo ma dodo a ewu e wo nigeria fo ensem two money rituals in kofo yudia me akasa me friend ba ko mary she was killed a year because of nigerian guy for rituals ba ku kuma se efia efia was killed by nigerian guy for rituals, and you cry now for me anyway. Me to you. So, the ball is in your court. If you like, go and date Nigerian. But make sure say, what prepare we will. I get to home. You will see you because anything can happen. Anything can happen. Ghanaian men are doing evil. Nigerian men are doing evil. Oh, 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 be be fini me mwa ba ba tina kwe mwa No, no, wa be nyo unu isi kadi akoni kwe mwa kwa kwe shu Ewa hwa nwa diye Ah, my dear You remember, do you know this man is a policeman? You know, police, they go a lot They go more investigation in Ghana, you know, which is, you know, it's a policeman who Forget say, she's also She, the man always come to the talk and talk about What my parents are doing, but it's a policeman If you don't know, no, now Yes, everything to bring come here talk will be true. They do not lie about it. We'll be telling you, you know, the police normally they go out and I then can tell us more what is really happening in the country. Yes, I mean, that's why me, as I said, I know the youth sentiment. We'll listen to the audios. Hello, Master Manager Niger News. I want to talk about two things that I notice on your channel. I've been listening to one particular guy on your channel. I think now I see another guy also doing the same thing. I'm a Ghanaian. So when I see my fellow Ghanaian saying something that uh it's not really good as a Ghanaian I have to talk about it and let my brother know that he should calm down a little master manager this Ghanaian person that he wish he normally almost send your audio long audio most of the time every time i you know watch your channel most of the time he have a message for you i want to say to everybody who are listening especially my fellow Ghanaians, that we should not take this as a personal. And a lot of people know already that 
they don't appreciate what Nigerian people do. So that doesn't mean that you should come on the social media and make this as a personal. Okay, fine. Nigerians who can who do it. Okay, that doesn't mean you have to do it too. Sometimes when I listen to these two guys, one of them, the first one that he used to, you know, I know maybe you may know who the person that I'm talking about. Brother, you should come down. You should really come down. This is not personal. I know your message is good. Try to focus on your message, please. Sometimes you will say something to make people know that Ghana is not good. At the same time, when you listen to the message, you make Nigerian people think that Ghana is better. When is the, the time that Ghana become the way attractive for the Ghanaians or the whole world to be attract? Sometimes you don't like this government, present government. See, we are all monitor Ghana. We all know when Ghana became attractive. But when you listen to these aggressive messages, people make you think that, okay, Ghana, the same people will make you think Ghana is bad. And when you go to the other side, they try to make Ghana a seem to tell people that Ghana is the best. Which is which? See, either way, it's not a long time ago, Ghana, nobody, nobody want to hear about Ghana. Ghana is nothing. But if you're going to condemn present government, that they are not good, they even insult the, the, the leaders. Now I'm asking myself, what about our fathers, our own by people that they, we, our parents, what about them? It's not the other, the other, the other our, our fault. If, when is the when is the first time last time it's a Ghana used to be a better and the, this present government is make Ghana go bad? See, if you just saying that okay, a Ghana oh, we will deporting everybody, we will do this. We, oh, please calm down. We live we live other people's country too. If people mi misbehave in your country, please, let's try to talk to them as we live in somebody's country too. It's not personal. It's not personal. See, the person that you send a message to, I'm talking to you as a master manager. Master manager is a Nigerian. You send in this strong hate message, passing on to Master Manager to send it for you. What do you think about Master Manager? You think he don't have a he don't have a heart? You think Master Manager? What do do you want if you say you you like man, Master Manager and you say this through him to send it to his people? You don't think Master Manager is going to be hurt? 
you you even forgot that the master manager is is from Nigeria. And then you turn around and say, Oh master manager, you 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 not like your people. What make you are? Uh, you think you're saying you know wise message. You turn you you say this message to exclude all the Nigerians most of the time and you turn around you come back and say oh master manager you are you you you, you you're not like your people is this is a personal see remember ghana was too bad years ago just just eight less than eight years ago ghana was nothing and you forgot this and somebody see that your country is attractive they try to come to your country a few years ago you think you are you're going too far and what make me don't understand is you saying the country is bad the government not doing nothing you say stop you you insulting the the, the the president including the ministers if nigeria nigerians think that your your government is good and they coming to your country you disrespect your country your country leaders and you can the people that they don't they see that your country is the best they come to your country now as you i can tell that you don't want something good if you think about it you think if it's ghana is bad nigeria will come there that make me know that ghana is not that bad but you talk down to your own people that they try their best to fix the country for you years ago nobody wants to come to ghana and live yeah sure if nigeria will come they will come with the bad intention most of them years ago but now the good ones decided to come to ghana and this is the time that some of you people that you come to this channel are so angry And then Eko was supposed to be cancer and they are stupid and they, wow and you live in somebody's country please when you have a little to eat please remember your people remember your neighbor if I said that before I will say it again if Ghana go bad right now, where are we going to go? We we'll go to Nigeria. So please think about those things. We are these two countries. Is the a country that if we don't have our daily bread, we try to find our daily bread as the neighbors. Don't forget that. So uh, uh, you, 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 now Ghana is is good. So nobody have to come and share what you have. That's all you want. That's all you. That's all your message is. So brother, think about it. You have, like I said, you have a message. Ghana, we don't want trouble. Ghana is just a first time experiencing european or american or developed country that's the first time we ne we're not going nowhere yet just because we smell a little bit we're not there yet you try to you try to send people away don't come don't come here don't, don't. oh please Please, Ghana is not continuously like 
changing government and different government come and they, we stay in the same way that they, they keep going sometime when we change the government ghana going bad it going reverse so if it's coming god is uh, if it's happening to be ghana going bad that uh, there is no food there is no anything ghana would decided to go to other people's country it happens so brother today is for you today is for you and then the what it what it pains me more is that they sending this message through master manager they don't even think about master manager feelings just because you're saying in your audio and saying oh master manager you're not like your people you don't even think about what master manager who, at the end of the day going home and say everything that they're saying is going to my people nigerians just because i don't like my nigerian behavior that doesn't mean that i don't like them in person but my this two Ghanaians, I think, I don't know if they are more than that, but I, I, I remember one, uh, one particular voice. He do long audio. And kept repeating the same thing most of the time. Brother, please. We like your message. But don't take it personal. That's all my message is. And the master manager, I think these days it's better for you to sort it out. Some of the, your audio, you have to listen to listen to it first, because I don't want my Ghanaians brothers to send those kind of hate messages. We want people to come to our country. We want that what we don't want is that you have when you come to our country try to obey the law that's all right now master manager is like a Ghanaian now but he was born in Nigeria you send in this message you're not even even if, if master manager is not a Ghanaian you have to think about master manager channel can be cancelled if you send some some kind of messages youtube don't want they can cancel each channel all those things you have to put it in consideration but you can feel the way the voice is like a hit you don't want as a, a person nigeria to enter their country if you listen to their voice keep insulting keep insulting spreading hit voice and they send it to master manager to pass it on to the his, his own people what are you thinking please brother brothers let's try to make people to come to our homes please and we will feel blessing okay it's not hate please so master manager i thank you so much i hope i will talk to you again bye bye for now all right good evening to everyone may god bless mr manager for making him available and making it possible for us to air out our grievances there's nothing like social media rant. Anything anyone says, either a Nigerian or Ghanaian, exactly what is in their hearts. Anything that Nigerian say, Nigerian says or writes in social on social media is exactly what they think. So there's nobody can convince me that social media is different from no. The difference is that. Uh, if I'm moving anywhere, either in Europe or Ghana, and I meet a Nigerian, we are not going to, I, I'm not even going to be able to see him uh, 
recognize him or he recognizing me for any arguments. That's all. And the truth is that there are individual Nigerians who are okay. I have some couple of Nigerian uh, associates, though they are not friends per se, but uh, they are associates. I mean, if we work with them and uh, we we have good terms, uh, hello, hello, that's all. It's not something that maybe I go to their houses or they come to my house, no. So first, let me address the issue of uh, my niece or my sister, whatever, came to say about Nigerians talking, uh, what they, I mean, that kind of foolishness talk of Ghanaians not speaking English. My sister, take heart, okay? Nigerians are aware, 90% or if not 100%, 90% of Nigerians are aware that Ghanaians speak better English than them. It's not now. You see what I mean? It's not today. In times. And that was why, that was why Nkrumah was able to lead them, mentor them, advise them. Azikwe Namdi Azikwe was a best friend to Nkrumah because of Nkrumah's intelligence. Okay? In most cases, before uh, Nigeria gained their independence, independence, it was a direction that Nkrumah gave them. Nkrumah made a lot of speeches. He led them. He was a leader for them. Not not that anything, you know, anything different. Nigeria after Nkrumah winning the independence of Ghana, he led the Nigerians. That's the, that's the reality because it was much. You know, it made sense to the United States, it made sense to everyone, any country he goes, to the British, anywhere. And don't, don't forget that there are about 60% of Nigerian students in Ghana universities. Even they, some of them have even been able to gain admissions in uh, some colleges, colleges in Ghana, which normally is supposed to be for the citizen, citizens. And they know that we speak better English, no good English, better English. Look, I can send you some, uh, if, you, if you want, if you want to be sure of what I'm saying, I can send you some uh, videos where Nigerians, Nigerian bloggers are interviewing fellow Nigerians in Nigeria, and they are confessing, uh, they are confessing that they love the Ghana accent. So don't worry about the bullshit Nigerians say at all. Okay? Generally, I want you to know something about the Nigerians. Look, it's a too big a country, maybe 10 times or 15 times than Ghana, the size of, of uh, Nigeria. Let's say about 10 times more than Ghana. And their population is, as uh, official, stat, official estimates of, from United Nations, that they are more than 250 million. And we Ghanaians are around maybe 32 million, as we know it. And they call themselves um, so-called gent of Africa for nothing. So the problem they have now is that since we are not close to Nigerians, look, we have kind of house, we have uh, Africans where there are many accounts there, about 20 million. We have the Enzimas in Ghana there. So we have much more, you know, cultural and historical links, blood links with the Avorians. But because of the French language, that's why Ghanaians don't go to Africa. It's like, you know, people are there, but it's not like uh, so much as maybe uh, uh, Ghanaians used to go. You look at where Nigeria is and look at where Ghana is. But Nigerians are, you know, arrogant, most of them. Excuse me, not everybody. And they look down upon, because they call themselves uh, Gent of Africa, but their country is not going well. That should tell you how breast Ghana is. How, you know, the blessing Ghana gave, that God gave, gave to Ghanaians. Look, during their war, Biafra war, Ghana had to invite them, their governors, their presidents, whoever, every left and right, those who were fighting, to Accra, Aburi. We want to, all the videos are available. They went there on several occasions. You see, most of these people talking nonsense, they don't know their history. Maybe some of them, few of them might have heard the history. But the issue here is that they are jealous that Ghana is too small. So they don't have good name. Their country is not running well. So, you know, that kind of, uh, what is it, jealousy and enviness. Oh, why should Ghana, and see, don't come on Ghana. Ghana is superior to Nigeria.
that's why they don't want to but their foolishness is that no Ghanaian is arguing with them and I will come to the point where somebody is saying Ghanaians coming to insult I will come to that point uh, when I finish here the thing is if we are not saying anything to them yeah you need in Nigeria for them Ghana for any time I could in Nigeria for them our social media but they always come and talk nonsense like one of our brothers have said on this uh, today that is uh, so we go to Ghana you buy food and then you are saying it to the whole way Ghana food but God knows that Ghana food is better the number of foods we have in Ghana if it is thousand Nigeria won't get even hundred I know the number of food we have now things have so but in the olden times the kind of food we have Nigeria doesn't come anywhere nearer you see so but what is the civilization what is the point of going to eat something because we, we don't have one chop bar or one eating place in Ghana so why do you go to a place and eat and then come and say it on social media Ghana food is like this. you see what I mean so a Jimmy any Ahoya any Mwasem Ahoya Jimmy any Kuhn Nigeria for so don't worry at all and when it comes to the language matter let me tell you the whole world knows that Ghana speak better English than Nigeria are they speaking English it's not English let me tell you one thing <laughs> look they don't speak it. Nigerians don't speak it. That is not English. That is not English they are speaking. If you dilute a colonial language into your own national language, I mean, the, uh, the, those people, the English people, where the, the, the language came from, the, when they are standing there and Nigerians are conversing, they can't understand them. Okay? And they can't write it. So they don't speak English. And let me tell you one thing again. Because Ghana is a blessed country, and at least we have one national unified language and the chi let me say put it in that way at least 80 percent of like the Ghanaians speak the chi even whilst i'm in england here sometimes when some white people meet me somewhere and they just look at me and say oh, are you from ghana they, some of them start to speak chi you see and so they jealous that one also look at nigeria because they don't have one uniform they are divided divided and hate themselves they hate their tribes too much that they, it's impossible for them to have one common unified language for the nation and that's why they are speaking the pigeon so why they know that ghana have one unified local language it pays them <laughs> it pays most of them so they will talk foolish so that is it i mean nigerians are not look the few people we know the good people we all know that few of them are good 20 percent 20 over 100 but nigerians are not people that we have to entertain too much i mean to, to take over our country no that should be that should that should come to an end that's that's the solution you see what i mean that is a solution because they hate us uh, jealousy comes from hatred if somebody jealouses you it's hatred if somebody envies you he hates you and that's what nigerians are doing they jealous Ghanaians, they envy Ghanaians, and they hate Ghanaians. Most of them, I mean. So don't worry about the nonsense they say. We talk, we speak better English than them. Their president, everybody, all their leaders, from all their military leaders, from go on time, I got to know from down, all of them, they come to school in Ghana. The, the military leaders, they all came to school in military academy and training school. All of them want to speak Ghana, Ghana English. All of them want to speak Ghanaian answer. For example, when I say director, um uh, what is director contractor and all those come and Ghanaians will say director contractor and all this and they will start there they will be there and say that Ghanaians are say director and then look i ask them simple question why don't you listen to bbc where the english language comes from so if i say director and you say director what are the english people saying what are the australians saying what are the canadians saying what are the australian um, new zealanders saying so my sister don't mind about nigerians don't mind about me we know, you know few people like mr manager and some others they, they, they don't come and talk this bullshit you see what i mean so don't don't don't, don't listen to nigerian nonsense the only, thing, the only thing is that when they say something like that, okay anyway uh because i won't keep quiet when i hear their nonsense i know you also not keep quiet but I'm letting you to know as a Ghanaian adult who have passed through many ranks in Ghana uh, to where I am now speaking to everyone who is listening that Nigerians nonsense is based on jealousy foolishness and ignorance it is not be anything we speak better English than them they know it and that's why our Nkrumah Dr. Nkrumah led them advise them mentor them to 
to win their independence. And that's why, though they call a small country, mighty country like Ghana, that's why we have to negotiate. Although we didn't achieve the desired result to stop their civil war, but we were the first country to invite them to Aburi for settlement. And they came about, they went there about five to six times, more than that. So don't mind them. Okay, now let me address the guy who came to mention that Ghanaians came to insult them. Yes, my friend, if you really want to face reality, you should know that no Ghanaian has time or have time to go to anywhere and insult Nigerians. Ghanaians don't need anything from Nigeria. Ghanaians don't have anything to envy from Nigeria. Ghana is a great nation. And so face the reality and address Nigerians to stop their insults. They are baseless, ignorant insult, okay, against Ghanaians. Don't mention Ghanaians first, because no Ghanaian has time thinking about Nigerians to, to insult Nigerians. So I think you should mature enough and face a reality and address your people to stop their insults and their nuisance, okay, and their ignorance, rather than saying Ghanaians insulting Nigerians, Ghanaians insulting Nigerians. Who brought the insults? So that's what I have to say about you coming to say Ghanaians insulting Nigerians. Ghanaians insulting Nigerians for what? Hmm? Can you insult Nigerians for what? Why, have, why don't you address those who started the insult? Their envy, their jealousy, their ignorance. That's what you need to address. Okay? So that is it. Uh, so to finalize it, my sister, the one who, who spoke first, don't worry about Nigerians. Okay? They know it. They know it. They themselves, they, they say it. If you want to get the videos of uh, uh, those who are confessors and they, they like the Ghanaian accent and Ghanaian English, you can ask Mr. Manager and I can send you uh, titles of videos for you to see where Nigerians are confessing that they are. So we are better than them and that's why they are dying. So they think of there are too many, so they are the superior. No, Ghana is, Ghana is quality country. Ghana is superior to Nigeria, whether they like it or not. That's what it means because that's the word I have to use. That's what they want to use against us, that they are superior. What makes them superior? No. Entertainment industry doesn't make you superior. Entertainment even can make, can make you to become a laughing, laughing stock. I remember so many years back uh, when I was in uh, one canteen in Belgium and I had a quiet girlfriend. There was a time when we were just having a conversation and he said, Black is for entertainment. Listen, you know, a white girlfriend of mine some years back, many years back, in our conversation one time he said, Black is for entertainment. How, what do you mean? How do you understand by that? black if somebody says you are for entertainment it means you are just for funny it means you are a funny person it means that you can't do anything but apart from to entertain and that's how the nigerians are okay so don't care don't don't have to worry yourself about nigerians okay don't worry at all because they know that we're so the superiority is Ghanaians. but because of arrogance foolishness illiteracy ignorance and that's why they always you know want to say something <laughs> you see it's just like when we were very young and then sometimes when you see there's something like uh, when you're looking for a woman some you know where we we're in Kumasi or in that kind of african environment uh, it's like young boys always go around and be chasing women when you see some woman you call that woman you say oh this and that and and so you know when a woman knows that um, a woman knows that maybe you are not uh, coming to tell her that you love her or something, you want to date her, then they start to sort of squeeze their faces and maybe start to insult you. Without you provoking them, they can insult you, you know, in their nose. They, they won't come to your face, but they will show a sign of uh, not that you are not welcomed. You see what I mean? So the Nigerians are, because of the way Ghanaians are, and they think that they should be the people that should be respected they should be the people that should have stability and they don't have it but Ghanaians have it it pays the useless ones i mean it's nothing we don't go and tell anybody that we are superior no but they want to tell us that they are superior but it there's nothing that shows their superiority opposite is the case the whole world disrespect nigerians generally and that's why most of the countries don't welcome nigerians their passports doesn't have entry in many countries and if you know it uh, the, most of them used to, they used to, you know, pass through the back door to uh, seek Ghanaian passports before they can travel. So international respect 
and international image, everything is in favor of Ghana instead of them. And they talk, they were, they were the people because they call themselves, uh, what is it, a giant of Africa and so on. And that's not working for them. They don't have any sensible person. Even after the military government, after the military regimes uh, handed over to the civilian administration, I, I don't know uh, what, what has happened from, what is it, uh, who, who is it? Is it Buhari? No. Uh, I've forgotten the name, but I know the, the, the guy who was there in 1983 when Ghanaians were deported, that guy, I've forgotten the name. Since that guy, there's no better person, you know, who has come to lead this Nigeria. And so it pays them that Ghana is like that. But we are not your neighbors. It's only the language. So, you see, you should send your late jealousy to your neighbors. Cameroon, I don't know, <laughs> Benin, Chad, Niger. Those are the countries that the Nigerians have to send their foolishness to and go and do competition with. Because we don't have any link with them, apart from colonial language. And okay, Senegal speaks English, isn't it? Is it Senegal? Gambia. Even Liberia speaks English from Africa to go to Liberia. They are even much closer to us than, than Nigeria, you see. But because of, you know, this language link that Ghanaians used to go there and some time ago, it was about between 80, 76 to 83. That was the time Nigeria was good. That was the time most of the people just went there temporary for hustling. I remember that time very well. My own junior brother, the one following me, went to Nigeria, just temporary. And they abused them. They did a lot of things against them. That was the only time Nigeria was good. Since then, Nigeria hasn't been a good country. Never. Never. So they are jealous. They are jealous. They envy. They are jealous. So they want to bring us down, physically, psychologically. So they have to talk nonsense. The country is like this. You ask yourself, how can you eat in a, a go to a country like as I'm here in England, then I go to a restaurant and I don't like the food. Do I have to say it on social media? Do I have to come and talk about it on social media at all? For what? It, it, so that should tell you the level of civilization, the kind of ego or ignorance these people, kind of people they are. And to me, about, don't worry at all. Nigeria for the, the Chiyomo will be BM. You see, when it comes to movie industry, I've been asking Nigerians if they hear anything about music industry in the industrialized world, UK music industry or movie industry, have they, have they heard anything? US music industry or movie industry, have they heard anything about them? China, anything? Music industry and uh, movie industry are nothing. They are only entertainers. They are even laughing stock. Again, my girlfriend many years back said, Ghana, black is for entertainment because we can dance, we can sing. And he was laughing. It means that apart from entertainment, you can't do anything. Entertainment doesn't move the world. Entertainment doesn't improve economy. It doesn't make a country good. And that is why Tinibu is in charge. That's why they don't have any sensible person to be in charge. Look at Buhari. Look at Buhari and look at Tinibu. And those people, they even before them. So my, my sister, no me bibi a hawo, alata fon kwa se Why? Gana fon chen wo mu. Sani nami boy se ye chen so Nigerians should know that Ghana is the same size as America uh, as uh, England. But England granted independence to United States of America. So it's the same, maybe the same kind of uh, comparison that Ghana was not a colony. Ghana wasn't a superpower at the time. Ghana was also colonized. Ghana was colonized by the UK. But then we have to immediate. Ghanaians have to be between the, 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 the Nigerians and the English people before they gain their freedom. So, this kind of people, if you come to social media and say they are our wives, are you not useless? Are you not foolish and ignorant? A person who leaves you are independent, can you, that person be your wife? It's foolishness and ignorance. They don't know anything. A, a person who, media, who comes between you, your country, you are fighting amongst yourself, killing each other. A country that comes between you and try to separate you from fighting and try to impose peace, bring peace, peace intervention. Can these people be, be your, <laughs> can these people be your wives or your mothers and your fathers? So my sister, don't care, don't mind about Nigerians at all. If you hear the nonsense, answer them because look, how can somebody tell you nonsense and you answer? We shall answer, but don't worry. 
Okay, don't worry at all. Don't worry. So if you want to know the history about Nigeria, the, between Nigeria and Ghana, ask Mr. Manager. And I think he, ha he has a lot of the videos from the 19, 1960, was it? From the Biafra between 1968 to 70. I think 1967 to 1970. There are a lot of videos to tell you. And even about Nkrumah, how he helped these Nigerians before they gained independence. So don't worry at all. We are better than them in anything. We are better than them in anything. What they, what they are better in doing is criminal activities. Criminal activities. That's what they are better off. And I don't want to be anything that Ghanaians... <laughs> I, I don't think Ghanaians want to be better in criminal activities. But when it comes to historical achievements, the Yamano, the Nsegeti Yama Yama, the idea of the Yama Yama, any idea of the Nigerians don't come anywhere closer to us. Thank you very much. So don't worry, my sister. Thank you. Bye bye. If you do not agree with anybody, you can reach out to me, tell me what you don't agree with. Because right now, it's become tough. No one is agree with anyone. Hope you understand. Now, if you don't agree with anybody, my WhatsApp is on my bio. Come and tell us what you did not agree with. Yes, and people who go answer you also are there to also answer you perfectly. Understand? We are here to educate one another. We are not perfect. Too. But as we, say, we are keep pushing the narrative, what Nigerians are doing, to Ghanaians in Ghana. Me already, you know, I don't support it. 100% I do not support it. And I want it to be cancelled. So that's why I said, we are waiting for you. What is in your opinion? What do you think? Do you support what Nigerians are doing in Ghana? Do you supporting them to destroy things? Do you supporting them to kidnapping innocent children? And what is your own supporting? What are you really standing for? Are you against him? Or if you are against him, I'm waiting. Understand? It's opinion. We're waiting for you. Tell us what you really against and what you are not against. My name is Master Manager Nijanik. I just want to appreciate everybody. But remember, if you want to reach out to me, look at my bio there. Buy WhatsApp, nobody's there for you. Reach out to me. I'm waiting for you. Thank you. Bye bye.